What's up everyone? Today we'll be beating Underground on Chimps, and I did test this one quite a bit, so even though it does get close, you should beat it no problem. To start off, we are going to place down two dart monkeys, one on either side of the intersection, and we are going to upgrade the one on the right into a 0, 3, 0, and then we are going to save up for Obin. So we are going to place down Obin just to the left of the intersection and then we are going to place a ninja just to the left of him. Try to keep this ninja as centered vertically as you can as we are going to squeeze in a bunch of other towers in here. But we are going to upgrade this ninja into a 301. Next up, we are going to place down Alchemist as close to the ninja as we can, and we're going to get this guy into a 3-0-0. Once again, try to keep this guy very centered vertically as we will be squeezing more towers in around it. Next up we are going to upgrade our ninja into a 401 and then our alchemist into a 400. Now we are going to place a sniper down below the dart monkey and upgrade this guy into a 202 and set his targeting priority to strong and this guy is mainly to help out with the round 40 mob. Then we are going to go back to our ninja, upgrade it into a 402 so it has Kel traps and then we are going to upgrade our alchemist into a 402 so that it has faster throwing. Now round 40 was always a bit scary, however I popped it every single time. If you want to be more safe you can always use brambles and hope that it's on the right track, though you should not need any more help. But next up, we are going to place down 10 0, 3, 0 ninjas as tightly packed as we can in between the intersections. And these guys' purpose is to buff the 402 ninja that we have right now. So we have 10 0, 3, 0 ninjas down. As you can see, our Bloon Jetsu Ninja has the 10 Shinobi buff. So next up, we are going to place down a Monkey Village right in this corner and upgrade it into a 2 2 0 so that Obin can have camo detection for the round 40 mob and all of our ninjas will attack faster. But after this, we are going to place down five more Shinobi Tactic Ninjas. Those are 0 3 zeros, And we want all these guys to be in range of the Bloon Jitsu Ninja. Then we are going to save up and upgrade our 402 Ninja into a 502 Grandmaster.
So round 80 is the other sketchy round that was always closed but never leaked. So if you want, you can activate brambles and trees and hope that they're on the right track. Or you could probably skip out on one Shinobi Tactic Ninja and upgrade this guy into a Grandmaster sooner. Uh, either way, it should work out. But after we get the Grandmaster upgrade, we're going to place down five more 030 Ninjas. Now, if you can't get them all to fit as 030s, you can always get Ninja Discipline to give them a little more range so they can buff the Grandmaster. Uh, you probably don't need all 20, but it is nice having all of them down. After you have 20 Shinobi Tactic Ninjas all buffing the Grandmaster, you are going to place down two Glue Gunners, both in range of the Monkey Village, one covering the top track and one covering the bottom. And we're going to upgrade these guys into 0-1-3s and set their targeting priority to strong. After this, we're going to upgrade the Monkey Village into a 2-3-0 so that all of our monkeys can pop any type of balloon. Next up, we are going to upgrade our Sniper into a 4-0-2 with its targeting priority still on strong so that it can stun any of the DDTs or mob class balloons heading our way. After this, we are going to place down a Bomb Shooter just to the right of the bottom of Glue Gunner and we are going to upgrade this guy into a 2-5-0 and set its targeting priority to strong. And this guy is to help us out with round 100 as it will do a ton of damage to the bad heading our way. So once you get the Bomb Shooter's ability, you can use it whenever you want. Now, I really liked using it on round 97, and after you upgrade this guy into a 250, you can just spam it as it comes off cooldown very fast, and it is incredibly helpful, especially on round 100. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.